Aloha, Dave Wilweber and Miley Ayo Domingo. She is with uh, Hamao Iloko Foundation and I'm with Ho'omalu Native Hawaiian Organization. And uh, I wanted to first remind you that you are the primary educator and the primary gatekeeper for your kids. That is no accident that they are in your home and were given to you. They were not given to us. So that ring brings up the question of why should you have us be teaching your keiki in human sexuality so that they are pa'a in the midst of sexual oni when that's your responsibility, your kuleana. So the big question, why? Um, first of all, let me tell you what it's not. This is not an attempt for us to steal your kuleana. No way, we never wanna do that. Your kids are your kids and that's your kuleana. Um, it's not an opportunity for you to say, oh, good, I get, it's super awkward for me to talk about sexuality with my kids. Oh, good, thank you for Auntie Miley and Uncle Dave. I can pass the buck to them. No, that is not the key. You are the primary educator and you need to start those conversations with your kids. If you don't know how to do that, we'd be happy to do that. We can run one webinar, seminar, we, in person, totally whatever. I understand that it's hard to get it started. It is. But, but that's it, one great thing about Onika is we initiate that with you. Absolutely. And it's super important that you do uh, be the primary person because if you do not, your kids are going to be like, whoa, the whole world and everything I watch and read and look at, everything my peers are talking about, they're all talking about sexuality, but my parents are not talking about it. What are they gonna deduce? My parents have nothing to say about sexuality. They are totally clueless, tuned out, and that's exactly the way you as parents, we as parents are promoted by uh, Hollywood. I even wanna add that the church is silent on human ah. sexuality. Yeah. But not so, us. So it's critical that you take up your authority as primary educator and gatekeeper and do talk to your kids about this. Otherwise, I hate to say it, but the number one uh, educator of kids and human sexuality is pornography. And that just eats me up. I've looked at some, it's terrible. It messes with your mindset, your heart set. It changes the way you view, at pe view people. It changes the way you view sex. And we don't want that for any kid at all. So this brings up the question again, why should you entrust your kids to us to educate your kids in human sexuality? Here are the main things. One, we only want to come alongside and reinforce what you are already teaching your kids. And again, if you don't know what to teach them, we'd be happy to sit down. In fact, the first thing that we do so we don't steal your kuleana is we go through the, the sensitive areas that we talk about so that you are fully informed and fully behind what we teach. Yeah. And if you're not, then you don't send them this way and that's fine. <laughs> or if you just say, no, I want to be the only person to educate my child in human sexuality. We say, praise God, we need Amen. more parents like you. Amen. Uh, another reason why you might wanna consider um, sending your kids to us after being fully informed, after you vet us, is uh, because we live in a crazy world today, right? So you need to vet us. Um, don't just take it, oh, so-and-so said that Miley and, and Dave are, are pretty good at what we do. No, you need to vet us personally. That's a part of your kuleana. But the third reason why you might want to consider this is we have thought about this quite a bit. It, it is one of our callings. And one of, the, one of the ways that God has really prepared us and designed us, mm -hmm. plus, plus we have a gifting to teach and a gifting to interact with kids and ask them challenging questions and so forth. And ultimately, using our bodies to give these kids the target, the vision of lifelong loving marriage. And that is the main thing that kids are not hearing in today's world. And we have fleshed out this teaching in such a way that these kids are like, whoa, 
it all makes sense to me now. So we've had sexually active kids are like changing their mindsets, uh, seeing that they their their bodies and their personhood has value, and they're saying that they want to make different choices and they want to save sex for lifelong loving marriage. That is music to our ears, and that's exactly why we are doing this. So. God bless you. Keep up your work as uh, primary educators and gatekeepers, and we'll be happy to come alongside you if you decide that that's what you want for the kids that were entrusted to you. So, aloha. Bonita a ena ukiyo.